<laughs> Do you have any, any kind of a ritual or superstitious before going on stage? He looks like he does. Well, I like to sleep for half an hour or so. Before going? Always. Chris half has, an hour? Chris has to be I woken own, up to do the show. Room, really. oh. <laughs> before the show, ten minutes before the show, someone says, has anyone woken up Chris yet? <laughs> so if they forget to do it, if you forget to do it, we you go in alone, solo. No, we, don't, no, we, don't, we never forget. We don't uh, forget. <laughs> but you, uh, you usually go to, get to the theatre uh, how many hours before? Oh, quite a while. Four, four hours before, three yeah. hours before. We do the sound check. We have oh, the catering. Right. right. Uh, we have something to eat. Then I have a little, what we call a little snooze, a little sleep. You do? Or I, or I read a book. It's very, it's very relaxed before the show. Yeah. And then half an hour beforehand, we get, I get ready. And then they wake up Chris and he gets ready. Go in. But uh, I think the sound, the sound thing, is, it's the most boring thing before, isn't it? The sound stay, check. Okay, the sound check. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, um, that, you know, it's always boring. <laughs> it's always boring. <laughs> I, was I was trying to think of something positive to say about it. But <laughs> you know that I do, I do a one-man show in the theatre. If I get, um, I gotta get to the theater about uh, 15 minutes before it starts. If I get there an hour before, I get so sleepy that I can't go on. I have, <laughs> I have just to get to the theater and get dressed and go in, and, which is very unusual, actually. Is it? Yeah, I think people like to, to get there two years before, uh, <laughs> two hours. <laughs> you, two you years is a little too you much. Don't, you don't do makeup. No, 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 just uh, uh, powder, how do you call that, a contact, little powder, yeah. yeah, little maquillage. That, but you do, you, you, you do make up, you, you a little bit, so yeah. you don't look too shiny, yeah, yeah. well, but too shiny, oh, well. with that jacket, uh, <laughs> uh, it's difficult <laughs> not, to sh not to shine, uh, I'd like to see, uh, who's the journalist here? I was a, a journalist for three years. Um, in the early 80s. And you were an, an architect? A student. A student never, of architecture. Never finished that. No? And uh, how did you two meet? We met not in a pet shop, but in a music, <laughs> a music shop. On in the, a music shop? In, in, in the King's Road in Chelsea. And I had a synthesizer and I needed to have a plug made so I could play it through my stereo system at home. I see. And he came in and we started talking at the counter about synthesizers. Mm. And um, we ended up becoming friends and starting to write songs together. And then... Uh, so it all revolves, the whole thing revolves around a chance meeting. A which always seems sort of amazing, really. Well, I think that some of the best things in life happens yeah. uh, exactly like that. If you plan it too much, you know, and uh, it's great to, to, I mean, it's a great feeling to be the, the duo that sells the most uh, albums. And That's what they said. We never quite believe that. <laughs> but <You're laughs> we think Simon and Garfunkel must have sold more records than us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because... Uh, yeah, but, but they finished making records a long time ago, so maybe. Anyway, it's a very nice accolade to have, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy Brazil. I hope you, you're happy with your stay. We're having and, a good uh, having you a great have time. Other shows. Where? We're playing tomorrow night in, here in Sao Paulo. Uh -huh. And the following night, we're playing in Rio. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Uh, how, uh, how many days? I have, let, me, let, me, let me. You've got the info you. there, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Olha, <laughs> o Pet Shop Boys, amanhã, dia 13, vão estar no Credit Car Hall in São Paulo. Dia 14, no Citibank. Hall, no Rio de Janeiro. And then back to England, or are you still Argentina? traveling? Argentina. Argentina, Peru, and Dominican Republic. And then back to England. Yeah, how, how many months a year you keep traveling and uh, doing shows around the world? This year we'll have done about six months. But last year we didn't, any, no shows at all. So. It depends. Just stay. We just we were making a record. But when we get back, we're writing a ballet for the Sadler's Wells Theatre in London, um, based on a story by Hans Christian Andersen.
Which one? Um, well, not, we haven't announced it yet. It's not the famous one, though. Um, uh. But uh, it's going to open in 2011. So we, we're going to go and write some of that, and then go back on tour, and then come, then finish the whole ballet. Well, so we've got a lot to do. I will see. I hope. Yes. I hope uh, everything turns very well, especially the ballet. I think that it's the first time that you do uh, something like that, the music for a ballet. Yeah, we or? did the music for a silent film called ba the Battleship of Temkin by Eisenstein. Wow, that's uh, incredible. Uh, with um, that was a mixture of electronics and strings, and that's what the ballet is going to be—the same sort of mixture of music. How did you cover the baby coming down the? Coming down the, the stairs. Well, <laughs> what kind of music did you put on that? Well, we can, uh, well, some beautiful music there, but a lot of it's um, drums. And also, we put in because as we, you know, we make electronic music, we can mm -hmm. use sound effects. We um, put the gunshot in as well, um, and it's very, it was very, it's a very obviously a very powerful scene, but it worked very well with the music. Well, I'd love to see. I'm gonna uh, to see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Run the internet to see if I find it. I buy the thing. It's on YouTube. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Everything's on like, YouTube. Like yeah, this is on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, well, I think so. Well, thank you very much. Thank Eu comecei com o Neil Tennant e Chris Love. E eles voltam no quinto bloco para tocar para gente. Thank you. Obrigado. Daqui a pouco a gente volta. Obrigado.